Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. This account owner told me that he's ready to get roasted. Roasted, so I'm gonna try and do that. He has taken a lot of breaks from what he said, so his game played doesn't really reflect the amount of time he spent on the game. So let's go check that out first. Okay, so he is in F3 right now. His best record was C1 in regular arena and F2 in RTA Special League, he probably didn't play much, and he is in a low guild C3 to G1, maybe now Punisher. Oh uh, wait, how long did he play? 3,300 days, or at least that's how long the account has been created. So I'm gonna let this account owner know what he should do to progress into the game. He is more interested in regular arena and a little bit of RTA, and we have seen that record. Fighter 2 is not a proud record, to be fair. So let's get right into it. I mean, his account was made for so long, but he told me that he has a limited box, so let's go check the state of it. We do see a lot of blurred, blurred pictures, right? Yeah, they're pretty dark. He has a couple. He has John. He has Jogun. So that's like a starter bomber team. Now, if you have Sierra, there's a standard bomber team right there that is really good for tanky teams. So we'll check that out. He has Chiyu. So if he has Escher and some de a decent damage dealer, he has a fast team. But he is missing Vanessa, he is missing Xeros, he is missing Juno, Rika, Fire Monkey, which are all pretty crucial units in RTA, Carnal for Tanky AD, Water. Uh, water Cookie. Okay, Minato for maybe RTA, but he's missing the Water Totem. Okay. He has Nana, no Miles. He has more though. Hmm. Water looks pretty lacking, to be fair. Uh, for a regular arena, yes. For RT, for maybe I mean for Madden, you could say that good for a regular arena in, up to a certain point. Poseidon, Nana, well Poseidon AO, Nana, and also more RTA, Molong. Ariel could be uh, AD. Molong is definitely more of RTA. Wind. Do you have Leo? You have Tiana. Who? Okay. So you can make a Leo Tiana. You can make a Tiana team. The thing is that you don't have Zeros. So if you want a resetting unit, either use Chung Pong, never mind. Either use Akia, which is the Fire Succubus, decent, decent resetter with a damage dealer, which do you have? No Chung, no Pung Bag. Did you have did you have Alicia? Oh, I mean you could use you could use Poseidon. Yeah, you could definitely use Poseidon. You could use Kaki as well. But now you have a second turn Leo team as well. Did you have Varad and Annabelle? I doubt it because there's so many things you're missing. Mm, okay, you have this. No, never mind. You have a Leo Christina second turn team. That's great. Now let's take a look at LDs. I don't think he has much to be fair because he didn't shout those out. Yeah, he is lacking those. So for AO and AD, he definitely has two things to run. Did you have Sierra? I forgot to check that out. Sierra? Oh, no Sierra. So Bomb Team is out of the picture too. So There's more of the Tiana team and then the Leo team. AD is probably a tanky one. No Samath either. So only speed lead wise that you could use for AD is probably more. But is a fast team the way to go? AD is very hard to be fair. Let's go take a look at runes. Oh, I'm kind of worried. Wow, wait, how many runes do you have in total? That's just laying around 800, okay. 1,400 total. What's your fastest rune? 26? That's still lacking grinds and gems. 27, okay. No legends. Okay, a decent one right there. Decent one there. That's all of these are missing grinds and gems. Even the swift grin. Wow. So just from this, R5. You just have to do R5. Just do R5, please. If you're done after that, then come back to me with more recommendations. I'll probably check it out right now and tell you. It'll definitely be one of these sets, okay? Violent, you have some decent slot ones. Decent slot 3s, slot 4 is also, okay, some are decent here, uh, actually 1's decent, okay, slot 4, I mean, very common with what we see in my account reviews, it's just really, oh my goodness, what are these despair runes? Maybe you've been focusing on dragons for a while, yeah, oh my goodness, Horrendous, horrendous. Okay, slot four is somewhat plausible. Slot five, okay. Slot six, okay. Wow. 
your giant runes are pretty much garbage i will focus on giants because really giants is probably the most efficient dungeon it gives you swift runes and despair runes where you which you like in both so i'll focus on that once you're done grinding everything at least to at least with your runes i really hope that you could join a pretty high guild or a pretty active guild at the very least that where they use the swap or not sorry the swgt and you can look at your lines i'm pretty sure that the, the discrepancy is going to be huge from your regular rune line and your hero line don't know what i'm talking about please watch my first video of the year which talks about proving your lines if that line discrepancy is big the larger it is the more emphasis on why you need to focus on r5 and i can already tell you that you have to do it you have to do it for a very long time so i hope that you have a decent a decent solo r5 team because that's what you need intangibles oh that's usable i don't even want to look at artifacts i'm pretty sure they're lacking as well yeah Look at these blue artifacts. It just me and they're not even refined. It tells me that you are not even thinking about it. Get your R5 done and then probably do a little artifact farming. Get that up to a certain point and then you can start farming GB12 again. Arena C1 with a 1% defense rate. This is an old record for sure. Before the update. You have a decent win rate right now. Let's see what you're running. Again, if I had to... Ooh, wait, you have water cookies. So oh, if I had to pick a defense, let's just put it up right now. Stripper, defense buffer, defense breaker. Yeah, something like this. This could be like a Triana instead. That could be better, actually. And then for offense... Okay, a Tiana team. Something that I was going to recommend because you don't have the Akia builds, probably. But if you think that resets is a, are a problem, you're failing due to resets... Build the Fire Succubus, put it as the lead, and then use one damage dealer because Tiana also deals decent damage if it's built correctly on a crit damage build, which is currently not. And then, yes, this one. But let's see if you're building it correctly. Okay, I see that you tried your best. Try to get the 100 res with a decent tankiness with crit rate. I don't know, maybe go with the crit rate build. Due to the low attack, it's not going to do that much damage anyways. 100 resistance, you need higher accuracy, you need this to be skilled up, so there's a flaw there. Okay, high accuracy, but not on 100 res, and on an interesting build. It is on will though. You would want shield if you could get it, if you're going like a random build like this. Finally, Christina. Does look like it might have 100, 100k EHP, but the crit rate is a little low. It doesn't glance, but doesn't glance doesn't mean it always crits. But okay, I mean, I see that you're trying, it's not the worst second turn team that i've seen so i'll let you pass okay, let's go to rta you're currently f2 with a 50 percent win rate that's good it's over 50 percent almost 60 so that's really good let's see how big your box is very very good small i like it 14 units which is perfect what i usually recommend is 10 to 15 maybe up to 20 if you have a good decent monster box but i think this is what you should be going for now more is built interestingly i see that it has low accuracy very high defense a little low on the attack on despair will i think the biggest flaw is that it has low accuracy you need to change this build and it is better to have um higher attack now helena is interesting are these skilled up okay before anything you'll take everything that's not skilled up i am actually very surprised that vert is not skilled up wow do you have a second verd? I've seen a very common mistake where people use the other verd when they have two verds. But that isn't the case. So, oh wait, there is... Oh, but this one's even worse. Okay, forget about it. I'll take out Helena. I'll take out Savannah. Is that better? That is better. Now, is there anything that we could add though? Because we want some follow-up. And we might want another decent stripper. Let's see if you have anything. That's good. Chiu. Mm, doesn't fit the team too well. Clara's a de decent stripper. Clara might be the only option actually for another stripper here. For another AoE stripper. If you just had like a Hey Gang, it would have been really nice. But you don't have it. So what's the point of talking about it? Let's just go like this for now. It is still 12 units. So control. It might be a good idea to bring both of these out for a resetter. 
but you do have control over that. Um, if you need a second stripper, you will have to bring a Molong, although it's not really a stripper stripper, right? But it could work. I mean, you have to pray to, for it to work, <laughs> but technically the skill two does have the word strip in it or take out an official thing. So I'll play with this box. I like how you have a small box, but you are using units that wasn't skilled up, which I wouldn't do, especially the ones you had out. And the others, I think it's fine. At least Verd, it's, it's arguable, but you're really putting him there for the counters, for the attack bar boost for his passive. So I'll let that slide. 12 units, better for you to focus your runes on these units and hope that maybe in fighter level, you could ram through some people with rune quality. But I think Fighter 2 should be fairly easy to get out with your current box and with the with the runes that you have. Yeah, but there isn't really much for me to say about this other than that. Um, I'll do more first pick because you lack strippers. And if they take your more, you have no stripper other than Molong. That's why I want a second stripper. Maybe that's the reason why you should put Clara in your draft. Unless you're going to always ban their immu immunity, you'll need a stripper. Or if they bring out two immunities and they ban your stripper, then you are actually screwed. So remember that, R5 for a very long time, and then Artifact for a decent amount until it's up to a certain level, and then go back to GB12 because your Swift runes are, well, your Giant rune, main Giant, main Giant runes, Swift and Despair, are pure garbage right now. Yeah, <laughs> at least compared to your Molly runes, okay? But that was it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon. If you guys want account improvements, join my Discord, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.